Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's good? What's good? How is everybody day going today? I do want to say happy uh, Christmas Eve to y'all as well as happy Christmas, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I know y'all see that thumbnail and I'm about to get into that in just a second. But what I want y'all to do for my Christmas present, I want all Storm 392 MMK gang members. Hey, man. Go on and hit that subscribe button, man, if you ain't hit it. As well as, man, hit that like button one time for your guy, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't cost nothing. Just go on and boop, boop, you know? Hit that little like button. You see with the little thumb right there. If it's clear, that means you ain't hit it. So, you know, take care of that for your boy. That'll be my Christmas present. But anyway, this is going to be a kind of a, a, a difficult video to kind of explain. Um... I know the last video that I did drop was the me getting the headers put on, but I know y'all kind of coincidentally, y'all didn't see the aftermath. Well, the headers are installed. They're in perfect condition. I just, I just didn't do the video yet, and you're about to find out why. So, and this is going to kind of go from point A to point B, but by the end of this video, you will understand, and I will drop part two once all this you know gets clear whenever it gets clear because i don't know what's gonna happen here but you know i'm about to explain why this thumbnail seems a little bit odd and different from the one that i dropped with the header video so without further ado let's jump in this and hey once again happy holidays everybody we the mob we the family <laughs> about the day going I hope it's better than mine I know y'all seen the thumbnail but before we get to that you know what I'm saying y'all already know what it is y'all already know who it is Sport K10 y'all back on that channel man anyway man I know y'all can probably see it in the face a little bit man it's just man not a not, not a good way to Finish off this week, I can say at least, you know. But back to that picture that y'all seen in the thumbnail, if anybody knows that is the shop, and that's not just any shop, that is the dealership. Man, I never thought I'd be making this video so soon. At all, period, but at this stage in this junction, I would have never thought. So anyway man for those who don't know because i really ain't said much to you know anybody you know but storm has a possible transmission issue Whew. and i am not happy about it at all the car only has what 15,000 miles kept up on all the oil, oil changes this far which would be what three you know every five thousand miles huh. everybody know when it comes to the dealer they play a, a shade of game sometimes what's up man start late <laughs> but man like i was saying when it comes to those dealers man they're finicky about every little thing you know what i'm saying you know that's where the guy a cigarette lighter avoids your warranty you know what i'm saying it just be that petty you know what i mean so man i'm at the crossroads with this man and you know i asked for all the storm 392 fans man <laughs> hey stand in here with me with this one please stand in here with me with this one um it's currently uh at the Dodge dealership and I'm just gonna hope that you know they can help me out in this time of need because for those who don't know yes I did some slight modifications to the car you know what I'm saying um, just to keep it real with y'all you know I do a little, a little oil catch can you know not a big deal you know we're talking maybe a transmission issue so you know by the fuck at least you know 
uh, uh, oil catch can has nothing to do with the transmission at all. Uh, other modifications now. Here's where things get a little tricky. Um, I did do a PCM swap. I had an extra PCM and did a PCM swap and uh, tuned the car. And the car was running fine. Um, I did this one months ago. So, um, you know, that could void the warranty. You know what I'm saying? I will say in most cases, but um, like I said, I bought an extra PCM, so I, I, I kept my factory PCM. You know what I'm saying? I didn't throw it away or discard of it. So. I detuned the car. Yes, I did get a tune, but we'll get to that. Uh, with the PCM, so I did get a Diablo Sport set, uh, the Intune 3 from Diablo Sport. Uh, Shipped in, put it on the car. So I removed my factory PCM because I didn't want to send them my PCM and have them tune it. And just for this reason, <laughs> you know, I would have just, I would have had a, a locked, but then unlocked PCM, which is, you know, a factory part so we all know that would have ordered for warranty you know depending on how you look at it uh, but dealing with that you know like I said I bought an extra PCM so I kept my factory when I put the factory back in okay then the third thing um, I did do the Diablo Sport tune and then after I did that tune I went and of course got a custom tune uh, so with that custom tune you know it gets kind of tricky a little bit because you know within that custom tune you can kind of change parameters and so if y'all see me kind of moving off camera I'm right here by the truck right here finna get ready to go to work but you know i gotta do this video too but um yeah i i uh advanced over the diablo sport and did a custom tune you know through jay green uh he does excellent work man if you ain't did any tunes with Jay Green, please go holler at the man, you know. He uh, responds back to any question, you know. No question is, you know, too dumb or too far-fetched for the man. He's very respectful. Uh, so, yeah, go check him out. But, uh, 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 Facebook. But anyway, uh, as far as that, I'm going to start this truck up too. Uh, get that thing at least running a little bit. Introducing the introduction of more power to the car, um, and just I want to say uh, later on, I want to say like later on that night after I had uh, got the car <laughs> from the shop with the headers put on, that's when I got this uh, weird transmission code on the computer, and pretty much. Uh, it was like a U0100 code, which is the lost communication with the PCM, TCM, ECM. Uh, and then uh, going on to like the CAN bus and stuff like that. Y'all can you know, Google that on y'all own to get a, a, uh, a definite understanding of what that is. 
but pretty much the basic is the PCM is just it's losing uh, or the PCM to TCM or the ECM is losing connection somewhere between the computer and the transmission something, something like that but anyway um, uh, I cut the car off you know I thought it was just a hiccup because if y'all have like a Charger the Challenger where y'all look on the Uconnect on the dash you know where y'all be in like the where y'all go to SRT mode you get like the the track sport street or you can choose a new eco you know usually when you change it while you're driving it has like a little orange caution like an orange exclamation or like a little caution sign that comes up and it says can't change right now it has to wait till the car kind of levels out then it goes to normal so i had got that cold enough so i just thought yeah it's just a hip up so i cut the car off cut it back on it, it went off i was like cool so then i put the car in drive and tried to proceed you know what i'm saying to take it for another little spin. Boom, the transmission, the RPMs just shot up, but the transmission was slipping. I'm like, wait a minute, like, I know this ain't what I think it is. And it had the little orange uh, exclamation point that came on again. So, um, I disconnected the battery. I disconnected the negative terminal. Uh, disconnected it, put it back on real quick. Boom, you know, problem went away. Drove it again. It drove fine for a little bit. Bam, same thing. RPM shot up, train missing shot, uh, train missing slip. And actually got stuck in like, I was like fifth gear or something like that. And then this is in regular automatic. So then I shifted back over to uh, manual to kind of see was it just the auto side or the manual side. And I, I, I shifted it back over, you know, just tap the gear shift over the manual. It was just blinking. And then had first gear lit up and it just blinking. And I'm trying to drive, it's not accelerating, it's not doing nothing. So I'm like, oh man. <laughs> so I ended up cutting the car off, cutting it back on, and I just drove it regular. Got into the house, took the battery cables off, positive and negative, took it off overnight, plugged it back up. Boom, I woke up in the morning, same thing, next day. <laughs> So at this point, I'm like, man, I hope the T, I hope the transmission ain't bad, but I do have a lost communication with the TCM, so I'm just wondering, is it just, you know what I'm saying, the PCM possibly going bad? So now, a uh, day later, after that, I think this was what, I want to say it was yesterday or so. So I ended up taking the uh, PCM out. <laughs> uh, I returned it back to stock. You know what I'm saying? Uh, took out the Diablo stuff out the car, returned it back to style, put my OEM uh, computer back in the car. Same issue. So that just goes to show you, or show me at the time, that hey, it's not the, the PCM. It's, it's possibly some dealing with the actual transmission. So, man. So that's the cause of the, thumb, of the thumbnail being made and uh, put up this morning. Alright, sorry about that. I was a little slightly interrupted. Uh, supervisor pulled up on me, had a little chit chat. But anyway, um, so yeah, like I said, uh, I did a uh, oil cast can, uh, Diablo Sport Intune 3 tune with an extra PCM. I uh, did the headers, <laughs> then like cold air intake. But you know, use the cold air intakes. Or oil catch cans, they're not really major power adders. Uh, the major thing I would say would probably be the tune out of everything. And then the next step down would probably be me taking the cast off. But the one, the one thing that I do know is that you know in most in most cases the transmission and catalytic converter really don't have nothing in common. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know that the uh, catalytic converters, you know what I'm saying, they monitor the uh, the oil fuel mixture. And just make sure everything's getting combusted correctly and the transmission actually deals with you know what i'm saying the shifting in rpm that the computer you know projects um, so it's just a point of trying to i hope i don't but it's just a point of trying to prove that hey you know what i'm saying like the cats or the coder intake or whatever they try to say might be the reason of the uh, transmission failure like like no like 
I could understand if I possibly did a transmission tune and like goofed up and left the transmission tune on and then bought it up there and be like, hey, my transmission down. They'd be like, oh, well, you got a transmission tune on here. It's too much power for the transmission. Then, yeah, I, I, I could probably understand that. But I mean, even just with the tune of the motor, uh, like, I didn't gain that much horsepower. Maybe a hundred, if that. I don't even think it was a hundred, more like 70, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Because a tune is generally, what, 15, maybe 20, 25 at best. Headers, 15 to 30 at best. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not even, that's really not even a hundred. So, you know, most cars, when they're coming out the factory, they're already detuned anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm pretty sure with the general population, they tune them down, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, the reason of, I'm guessing, like, racing and different stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Kind of makes it <laughs> easy going in the streets, per se. But, you know, given a scat pack 50, 60 inch to horses, man, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, per se, make the transmission just fail like that, but hey, like I said, I'm just throwing out speculation right now of the worst case scenario. But um, I guess just stay tuned and, you know, just hope for the best for your guy, man. I'm hoping for the best for myself too, man, because, man, a $40,000 vehicle, man. <laughs> Most people don't understand. You know, you don't expect to see nothing wrong within the first year, not two or three. Like the sticker is still good on the car to 2021. Like I gotta go through 2020 before I even start getting inspections done. <laughs> so a major issue like this to even occur, man, it's, it's, it's very devastating, man. But you know, it's life. You know, we all have to deal with it in different aspects of it. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna add on to this video. I might just drop this one and just kind of make this like a part one. And man, <laughs> what a feeling. But you know, like I say, I'm hoping for the best, man. And you know, once again, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, like button, man. And just, man, stay consistent with your boy. You know, I'm gonna start trying to drop more videos. And you know, I appreciate the ones that's been rocking with me to this far. You know, and the ones that they don't even know they about to rock with me sooner or later. And you know, hey, we the mob, we the family. You know what I'm saying? Hey, spawn through 9-2 game, MMK game. Hey, we in here. <laughs>